Mmm. 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 -hmm. Brain is so stupid sometimes. I just took a big swig of coffee and then my brain was like, I made that record button. Right idea, just a little bit too early on the draw there, I would say. Welcome back to Northern Line. Binding of Isaac. Northern. Hey! I actually am going to raise my own volume slightly. I'm looking at the. Uh, I'm looking at the audio. I gotta shout in order to make myself heard a little bit, so I'm just gonna crank it up ever so slow. Oh, jeez. Normally, I like to be like right about here. What's crazy is that some people are gonna say that's no difference, but my input actually was doubled there. What you hear is not a lie, but at the same time, this means I don't have to shout. Okay, so we're doing Judas this run. BMCMC8VR. Midas touch rate off the bat gives us such a good potential for awesome stuff in the future, but I gotta admit that right now, I'm a little bit frightened. Judas is, uh... Judas has a real argument as maybe being the best character in the game, I think. I, if you ignore Azazel, I know there's gonna be people who are like, you know, Wow, Judas is better than Azazel, but I have never had any, like, 16 minute long Judas runs. Maybe that's on me, but, um, you know, my Azazel runs tend to be quite fast, lately at least. To, to the point where I'm almost like, maybe we should skip Azazel through the rotation, or like every other time at least through the rotation, just because it seems like such an automatic victory. Um, but those runs are fun anyway, but uh, we still got this issue right at the top of the game here, where a single hit from a certain uh, projectile or a certain class of enemy could actually uh, completely kill me. So I gotta worry about that stuff. As long as I can keep myself alive, we've got uh, great potential here, I think you have to admit, like... Uh, I don't, I don't know why I'm talking like I'm doing a stand-up bit. Like, I think you gotta admit we got great potential. I mean, uh, my wife, you know, ask her anything. I don't know what that joke is even supposed to mean. But I put on a Rodney Dangerfield Eldian accent, and it uh, sort of came out the way it should, perhaps. All right, there's a spirit heart. I like to see this. We could go to our curse room now if we want to. It's a little risky. We'll see if maybe we get HP from the boss. Another bomb would also be awesome. Hmm, tricky boss. This is the kind of boss who can end your run. Uh, if you don't have uh, a spirit heart, or if you don't have Book of Belial, or maybe if you don't have both in some situations. But uh, certainly I feel like we're in a pretty good spot here. Not too happy with that damage. Let's get back here a little bit. We're already like halfway done. We don't have to, you know, be too over the top here. Just stand back. There we go. HP. The belt, a speed upgrade. Well, honestly, I think that's the end of the, the floor for us. As much as I'd love to... Maybe try to walk through the spikes and open up that chest. I think it's just way, way, way too risky. Same with the curse room. Curse room is just way, way, way too risky. This room is, uh, is a spooky one. No question about that. Spiders are annoying. Um, I do... The spiders that jump are a little bit less annoying, to be honest with you. Like on the spider hierarchy. Uh, the champion versions of those are, are annoying. But maybe I'll drop a battery. But uh, it's really these, like, these ones that drop more spiders that are going to be the biggest pains in the ass, which is why I wanted to take them out first, if possible. These guys do have incredible range, though. No, no drop there? For some reason, I, I thought you would drop a battery. Maybe it's a percentage chance on those gold champions or something. So what am I hoping for here? Um, well, the item that makes Midas Touch hilarious would be awesome. That's Unicorn Stump, of course. I would get rid of Book of Belial for Unicorn Stump. Um, if we don't get Unicorn Stump, Taurus would also be great. If we don't get Taurus, Book of Shadows would also be great. Um, after We're getting into like some fringe territory now. I don't really know what on top of those ones actually becomes that amazing for us. But, uh, apart from that, we, we could just ignore Midas Touch and pretend that we're uh, in uh, a normal Judas run, which we honestly are until we pick up something that's uh, that, that changes our mind otherwise, basically. We know there's going to be a deal with the devil here. Um... The arcade is playable once. Come on, just give us a bomb or a key. Like, either of these is so big. Ah, uh, you, you dirty dog. So, what I'm thinking here, I do know that there is a, um... Let's see if we did win there. We did, okay. I do know that there's a, a demon judgment. That's not really what I was looking for. I was hoping to maybe get a, a bomb payout, and then we could start working our way down here. I would have preferred that even to the money that we got. I may play the Demon Judgment. I know I'm not gonna get what I need out of that Demon Judgment, though. You know what I mean? Like, I'm, I'm not gonna be able to get enough plays to actually get, uh... 
Oh, there's our secret room. So it's not adjacent to our item room, unfortunately. I'm not going to be able to get the, the six plays necessary to have a chance of getting a payout. Uh, probably. So all I need to do is, is find a way to get a key. Obviously, we're not going to have a really good chance of getting that on our secret room. But uh, stranger things have happened. Maybe a, a slot machine followed by me blowing it up, followed by it giving me a key. I mean, that's a decent amount of money. We're going to want to... Uh, Oh, we can bomb our way into our shop. That's how we get a key. Apart from that, we just want to uh, gamble a little bit more, unfortunately. I don't really want to do this, but if we have to do it, we have to do it. It would be also be awesome to get the 15 cents here. Not quite. We have to get a key. As much as I would love to get starter deck early, we have to get a key. And if we get more money, which we conceivably could, I would love to get uh, starter deck. Robo Baby 1.0 is actually, dare I say, not that bad. I think it's better to get, like, that. I know we could get two plays on Demon Judgment instead. I just think it's a little safer to go that way. And then we get this free money that I was hoping to turn into something that it was not. Uh, turn into a key, ideally. So we'll open this now, and hopefully this will kickstart our uh, consumable gain. And honestly, it may have. That was uh, a pretty good draw. We got into all the rooms that we need to get into. We still have two bombs and one key left. So we're making something out of nothing right here. I actually feel like this is probably a great room to use the devil card on. Just to make sure we don't completely bung it up before the boss fight where we'll use Book of Belial. There is a, a chance we fight an enemy like Fistula. We want to be ready for that. So we want to have our, uh, we want to have Book of Belial ready to go. Bit of a scary one. But uh, I think we've navigated it pretty well, and the Devil Card Book of Allow working nicely together. Not too disappointed in, in Robo Baby as an item, but it could be better. Now we're at four keys. So, of course, immediately I'm like, well, why do we even buy the key to begin with? If we just got in, like, one more room, it would have sorted itself out. But that's the, that's the way the cookie crumbles sometimes. Pin is our ideal boss fight, and this will give us a chance to hopefully break through here. Get a good deal with the Devil. We got no Curse of the Blind, so... You know, ideally, it's like nine lives plus something else. I will pick this up in advance. It's not always the best idea. Uh, but I'm only going to take one thing anyway. We're only going to take Dark Matter here. We don't need the book. Paralysis. Puberty. Uh, the two Ps, not particularly useful. I don't really want to spend, like, one whole Spirit Heart. Uh, or do I? To get into... Uh, that curse room. One cent, huh? I don't really want to, but I may. And this is actually, I'm, I'm very glad to see this. We got two more plays on that guy. It's actually possible now that we might be able to make it work. And you know what? Screw it. I'm gonna go... Uh, before we do this, this is... <laughs> I apologize for being so up my ass about strategy right now, but... Like, this is an important moment for that. Our HP is not particularly strong. You know, we want to make sure we're okay. We want to get starter deck first in case we get a teleportation card, which we don't. We get a regular judgment. I don't know how I would use that regular judgment right now. Uh, if I'd known about it earlier, I could have used it in conjunction with the earlier demon judgment, but whatever. We'll go to our curse room, hoping for spirit arts, hoping for guppy items, hoping for not blue fires. At least uh, spiders gives us... The ability to pick up, like, one more charge on Book of Belial. And a tower card. How would we like to use this tower card? We could use it to blow up the Judgment and the Demon Judgment. We could use it to blow up our donation machine. In the hopes of picking up enough money to buy maybe another Spirit Heart. Honestly, that seems like a, the right call to me. But I'm also a little bit worried that if we do that, I will end up hurting myself in the process. We did not touch our donation machine, but we did get 11 goddamn cents out of the man in the middle. That's amazing to me. Uh, let's get the hell out of this floor. There's nothing but trouble here. We don't really want Book of Sin. It's coffee time. You know, I got a new respect for uh, certain actors and actresses. Because I really have a hard time swallowing under pressure. Like, if I have to, if I have to swallow quickly... In order to, I mean, I, I, look, you're not the most clever person in the room for suggesting that this sounds dirty, right? It's pretty obvious. I mean, some would even say, by design. However, it, like, if I have to swallow on cue, it's like, nah, sorry, you can't do it. Performance anxiety. I don't know why. It's weird. That's why I had, like, that six-second break at the start of this video. It doesn't normally take someone six seconds to swallow a, you know, a mouthful of coffee. But I was like, oh, shit, I'm on. I gotta be ready. Okay. What's our other one? Judgment, judgment, judgment. 
We got we got a lot of keys. We might as well come in here. It's our shop. Uh, we I like I like a lot of these. Let's throw this down. My hope, of course, is that this judgment will pay out with some HP or something, or you know, basically anything. Now I'm going to use the tower card, and I did blow up my my judgment friend, and I'm not a big fan of that. I don't feel like such a good guy right now. Didn't quite get our donation machine, but we did get into the secret room at least, which gave us a spirit heart, amazingly, and will allow us to get into our curse room. And inside of our curse room, hopefully we'll be able to pick up some more spirit hearts here. Four would be nice, but yeah, one is about standard. Okay. Well, so far I wouldn't say that I've really done, uh, done super well on this cave's room, but or cave's floor, I should say, but it's not too terrible. Second secret room is over here as well. Lots of red hearts. So obviously if we can get like a dark bum on this floor, that's really valuable, but it's always really valuable. It just, you know, it's like being like, you won the lottery, we're gonna give you a million dollars. And you're like, that's pretty sweet. And then they go tax free and you go, oh, I mean, that's still, like it was already in the category of best thing that's ever happened to me. Now it's just even better, you know? It's still, uh, it's still meaningful. Now those, that red room, uh, the red heart room actually is going to be good now. Uh, because we have a room with a demon judgment on it, we can easily get to the six plays necessary to at least start qualifying for, for stuff to pay out. Um, I'm just saving it until, you know, and it's actually a bad idea. I shouldn't save it until the end of the floor because uh, we might give up our last remaining HP on the deal with the devil. So it's probably in our best interest to actually tackle that as soon as possible. But let's go, let's go handle our item room first. We'll just see if we get anything useful there. And then we'll, we'll handle the rest of this. Another full red heart is fine as well. I mean, this run, I can't say that it's bad. I don't know if I can necessarily go over the top and say that it's great right now. The things that make it great are the things that make every Judas run great. You know, we've got basically the goat head. We, well, you know, we don't need to say basically the goat head. We've got Book of Belial. Book of Belial's good. Gives us that damage bonus. Bon bonish? Gives us that damage bonus in addition to the, uh, the deal with the devil effect. I like to segment my floors, make everything like crystal clear, you know? We're gonna do it like a flow chart here. If we can just keep ourselves, uh, you know, hunky-dory, copacetic, any one of those uh, hilarious words. One bomb could give us uh, almost enough money to buy something. Oh, that was so bad. We may end up needing that spirit art more than I originally anticipated. All right, Robo Baby, your time to shine, buddy. Whoa, Robo, let your light shine down. Doesn't really make any sense, but okay. We'll be, yeah, be careful. There we go. Robo Baby's doing the work that needs to be done. Like these two guys only. Please, please. Good. Okay, item room is flush flush is really bad i don't know if we can use flush in conjunction with midas touch somehow like maybe we create the poop and then we walk into it and it turns into golden poop or maybe we walk into someone and then hit the flush and they turn into golden poop i don't know but i'm going to just choose to ignore it for now because it's, it's just not good enough Luckily, those two spirit arts were good enough. Uh, that That's an incredible pickup for us there. So let's get this Demon Judgment shit sto uh, sorted out, and then we'll uh, figure out what we're going to do with the, the rest of our time on this run. On this floor, I should say. It's one of those situations where, like, you should definitely extinguish that fire. And I'm going to prove to you that you should extinguish the fire by not extinguishing the fire. And then you see what happens to me. <laughs> and you will... If you meet me by Grub's Tavern, I will show you where the treasure is hidden. Really wish we had, like, a little bit more HP so we didn't have to walk back and forth so much. But who are we trying to impress, right? Like, we're not getting a boss rush on this run anyway. So let's come up here. Hey, he paid out. That's good. Uh, well, I mean, it's not that great, but it's, it's okay. Missing page two for a little extra evil. Even quasi-evil. Wheel of Fortune... Yera, oh, that's good. Like, that was a really good bomb, actually. Uh, we'll probably try to save Yera, but we'll use Wheel of Fortune if we find a good opportunity to, like, use a bomb. It's just, it's like a bomb enhancer, basically. Natural bomb enhancer. Um, maybe that'll help me swallow on cue. <laughs> yeah, hilarious. 
Good callback. That's a callback and a double entendre. You're really getting into the TBS school of comedy there, Northern Lion. All right. Now, we're almost, almost done. These guys should have paid out with more pennies, but I killed a lot of the segments over rocks, I guess, so. It's okay, we get a range up. Not particularly useful, but we'll take it. And could really use a good draw here. It's freaking Dark Bomb, dog. Uh, yeah, of course we will take Dark Bomb. As uh, suggested earlier, this would be great if it happened on this floor. And then it did. So we are going to leave. And, um... Well, I mean, one way that we can start using Minus Touch is just literally having way more HP than we know what to do with, and then start walking into enemies and picking up basically unlimited money. Like, this this could actually be a weirdly viable strategy. So we're going to have Dark Bomb pick up all this. And then we are just... Oh, I shouldn't have left just... I think I might have fucked up one of them. I'm not sure, though. He might not have finished paying out. I don't think he did, actually. So we can just get him to pick up that, and then we run... And he's not gonna pay out, but that's okay. Really, really good on HP. I mean, this should be a win now. Anytime you're you're like Judas plus good defensive item. That's it. Like you're set. So I would be feeling, or I am feeling, I guess to say it the right way. Like this is probably a pretty set victory here. It's exciting. I'm excited. Doesn't happen every time. We will get that penny. Yeah, we'll open this as well. Let's pop Book of Belial first. Bob's rotten head, huh? Not particularly interested in that, but we, there's no reason we can't use it like once. Probably on Chubb, to be honest with you. Although maybe, <laughs> now that I think about it, by doing that I probably just lost the Book of Belial effect. I'm not sure. Maybe, maybe not. Anyway, doesn't matter too much, we'll kill Chubb. Get the heck out of here, we're at 14 cents, almost enough to buy something from the shop. But again, if we can just get enough Spirit Arts to have more Spirit Arts that we know what to do with, every extra Spirit Art, we can effectively turn into dead enemies and cash with Minus' Touch. I mean, four... Oh, that was not what I meant to do. 14 uh, cents is already enough to, to start doing some pretty decent contact damage. And it only gets better at that point. You get to 30 cents, you're killing everything when you touch it. You get to 99 cents, bosses are melting in like three hits. Was this room worth it? Like, um, it depends. Like, fiscally, yes, I haven't taken any damage, and also I've gotten uh, some money out of it. Uh, in terms of my sanity, no, because we are going pretty slowly here, probably as a result of my own idiocy uh, in picking up Bob's Rotten Head, and then we are, uh, you know, taking longer than I would like to take. But that's okay. I, w I would really, really like it if you could just die, though, because these eyes are pissing me off, dog. Yeah. Okay, I mean, it's extremely tempting. I really do love uh, Tammy's head. I think Tammy's head is a fantastic item. I take it all the time. Probably probably more than many people would like. Oh, that was really good. That was almost good as well. Oh my god. The champion can fire those shots in like a, a 360 degree radius. The fact that it shot them at me three times in a row is ridiculous. But, you know, that's that's your right as a, as a champion, I suppose. Oh, jeez. Yeah, I'll get, thank God for the fear shot there. It left me an open position to kind of, like, sneak out here. Fear shot is also causing a little bit of disarray for me, but... It's all right. I thought I just... Ah, oh, the shot hit, but it didn't quite get the kill. This is Robo Baby. Robo Baby, you're picking up the trash here. Good stuff. Good stuff. All right, yeah, I mean, this is Guppy's tail in a nutshell right here. And no, I'm not gonna do the Austin Powers quote. How did I get into that? Okay, I guess I'm doing it right now. Oh, didn't mean to do that, but thanks for, uh, I guess, literally breaking even. Um, so we only have one guppy item. I do wanna remember that because we're probably coming up to boss room area soon, and we're at the point where, you know, we're giving up a lot of our HP. It is replenishable, but we're giving up a lot of HP to, to pick up a deal with the devil item. We don't want to waste it on something shitty unless we know that we have uh, a lot of HP coming our way. That is really good! <laughs> that showed up, like, in two item rooms on two consecutive runs, I think, which is really just, like, you know, you, you, you can't ask for luck that's better than that, basically. So, I'm pretty excited about this, and that'll be a spirit heart here for sure. And now with Death's Touch, if we lost this one, it, it's transitioned fully into, like, really embarrassing territory. Like, this would be... Oh, look at this, this Skype message. Um, see, they don't always come on the first floor. Sometimes they wait a little longer. Um, it, it, it would be in full-on embarrassing territory for sure if we lost this run now. Hopefully we won't. 
I was gonna say it's happened before, but honestly, like, I don't mean to toot my own horn, but it really hasn't happened that much recently that we've, uh, you know, lost a run that should be won. Maybe, like, twice in the past couple of months. I mean, we did have that one streak that was almost two months long, so I don't want to misrepresent myself. Uh, it's a real shame, actually. I probably should have not picked up the, uh... I'm gonna take Horror of Babylon, but I probably should have not picked up, uh... What I picked up, and then we'd be in a better position. By that, I mean the HP. I had to remember what it actually was there, uh, temporarily. But, um, if we hadn't picked up the HP, uh, those would have been three Red Heart, or three Spirit Heart deals. We could have taken them both. It would have been risky, but, uh... Given the situation that we found, I really, I'll take the guaranteed damage over the spacebar item that uh, is going to probably turn us into Guppy, but we don't know for sure. Like, we, we don't know if a third Guppy item is going to show up. The other thing is, we don't take Horror of Babylon. It's probably gone forever. Guppy, it could still come true. Um, especially if we don't take Tammy's head to finish this floor. And that way we actually have... Um, I do want to fight here if I greed. Yeah, hopefully get a decent amount of money or maybe even a key drop as well. Because I was like, what are we going to do with our keys? It's either like golden chest or... You know, half of a double key room. We might as well fight greed, honestly. Uh, could really use some more keys, but whatever. Well, it's because we opened so many golden chests. That's the whole reason we're in this problem to begin with. But, uh, yeah. Uh, we could still become Guppy. I, I do think this is a much better choice. Um, that might be another payout. Next uh, next red heart will be for sure, then. I mean, we're in, we're in a fantastic position. We don't need to min-max too much in order to make this run work, you know? I would like to stop fighting spiders if possible. That would That's in my wheelhouse. Uh, I wish that I could open that. For some reason, just the context of where the chest is makes me want to open it more. But oh well. Uh, are we going to... I'll tell you what. Let's pop Wheel of Fortune next to the second secret room location. And my hope there is that... Uh, I mean, I guess I'm just hoping for a red chest with a guppy item or a red chest with any item. But also, uh, maybe a key back from this. I have a red heart, might get a payout. And it's spider. That's fine. It's a black heart. That's like the second best payout we could probably hope for there. And we'll be down to the next floor. Still got a Yara rune to our name. It's still in a very good position, can't deny that. Hmm. Coffee's getting a little groundy at the bottom, a little earthy. Uh, let's just make our way through here. Do we want the left hand over Liberty Cap? Honestly, probably. I think, uh... It's gonna fuck up the ta or Guppy's tail, but I think that's a good thing because we don't have any keys. So, you know, we'll still get the benefit of having red chests, but we won't have to uh, sweat not having enough keys to open all the potentials we get on the floor, you know? Oh, this is good. Yeah, I think it's probably in our best interest to do this. Of course, it, it also carries the, the extra possibility of becoming Guppy or having a better probability of becoming Guppy. But this is mostly a play that's just like, I'm poor. Do you want the thing that gives you free money? And I'm like, yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, I'll tell you what. We'll give you like a golden chest that could have anything in it. Or we'll give you a red chest, but it doesn't cost anything and it could still have anything in it. Um, that is a simple decision. I think golden chests on average are probably better. It's circumstantial though, you know. Do you want Guppy items and... Uh, Spirit hearts with the chance for like troll bombs and spiders, or do you want um, you know a lot more consumables probably, or you know the chance at items like uh, Cricket's head or Tammy's head. And I, I got to admit, I did think about taking Tammy's head uh, for a little while here, because we have Death's Touch. Tammy's head would be awesome, but let's stick with Book of Belial. It gives us a better chance at finishing up the uh, the dream for Guppy. I do want a humbling bundle. There's no question. I'll buy this as well, and that should help out our consumable game somewhat. And if, God forbid, we ever get a uh, Unicorn Stump, we'll also be able to get double the money faster with Midas Touch. Unicorn Stump is probably just about the only item that I would get rid of. Uh, uh, unfortunately, we can't do that. Ah, oh, that's pretty good, though. Uh, it's uh, probably the only item that I would get rid of uh, Book of Belial for at this point. So, there's, a, there's only a little bit of light strategy that's going on, but there is some strategy going on here. Couple of spiders again, that's okay. Uh, I would love to open this. You know what would bypass a lot of this, uh, you know, key and bomb nonsense is just having, like, the straight-up ability to fly. Gotta check that out, obviously. Judgment. Mmm. Still don't quite know what to do with this guy. Normally, you either have a lot of money or a lot of HP. Or oftentimes, at least, you'll have a lot of money or a lot of HP, and you'll be like, I know exactly what to do. 
Uh, I don't know exactly what to do with this right now. I also don't know how many spirit hearts we have, so I'm a little anxious about that when it comes to this deal with the devil. Really should have paid attention to it, and we're definitely not going to get HP from this guy. That almost got me still, which is kind of amazing. Okay. I mean, once he, he starts moving, we're fine, because we've already gotten a speed upgrade. Once he starts, he gets off his horse, I should say. Uh, we'll be fine, because we already... Uh, have a, a speed upgrade, so we can't hit us. And an orbital is actually nice, especially if we choose to go with this Midas touch build, but we'll see what's in here. This would be a good floor for Krampus, honestly. I will take Sacrificial Dagger. It's so good. Oh, don't, I, I don't know if we can afford to walk over these. Um, I will take Sacrificial Dagger, and I think it's the right choice. But it's, it's not necessarily an easy choice to make. At least that lets me breathe a little easier. I should have kept two bombs, actually, because we could go to the uh, that like bridge at the side and get some extra keys. But instead, I'm just going to use them to get into the secret rooms. And honestly, like, yeah, it, it actually paid dividends. Like, we got two keys and a black card for two bombs. That's a really good trade. Oh, and then this is going to pay out as well. Thought maybe we'd get two, but that's all right. Uh, and now we can access that Spirit Heart and Red Chest area as a result. So we got a, a pretty good thing going here. I don't have Red Hearts, so I don't really want to, you know, trade my Spirit Hearts to get the Tarot cards. I mean, I want to, but I'm not going to. That's what I should say. Alright. Uh, another, another good floor. We're still kind of lacking, like, an item to put us 280% over the top. But we're in a great position right now in terms of, like, our overall utility and how we're doing on the run. Um... And I think the game's been relatively kind to us. We do probably have a... Oh, that was really good. We do probably have a Krampus fight coming up relatively soon, so... I wouldn't expect to get too much stronger, but, you know, that's the thing. You never expect to get, uh... You know, your your death's touch on an item room. Here we are. Alright, Devs 2, we finally made it. We're at, like, max HP. That's not so good. Hmm. Well, okay. <laughs> I'm, I'm hatching a, a sinister plan here. We have a Judgment card. No, it doesn't work. I was like, we pop the Judgment card, walk into the Demon Judgment, and then walk into enemies. And what we will do as a result is get the benefit of playing the Judgment and also the benefit of the, the money from Midas Touch. but And the damage from Midas Touch, I guess. But that would be like tertiary to the whole overall situation. Um, I, I wouldn't necessarily recommend that strategy because you can only use it on one room, right? Like once, once the Judgment's gone, it's gone. Uh, I do think we can afford to walk into some enemies, honestly, so you're gonna think I'm being an idiot, I guess, but, oh, I was really hoping that we'd get a little bit more than that from the flies. We don't need the fool card, I think. Um, but I'm gonna start walking into some enemies, and the reason I'm gonna do so is because it, it's gonna give us money, and spirit hearts are less concerning than our money right now, as strange as it may sound. That can change pretty quickly, but... We can get, like, six cents per half spirit heart... And, and it's only going to be ones that we probably didn't need anyway. I think it's a, it's a decent idea. It is a little weird, I'll, I'll grant you that. But at least it gives us something to do with Midas Touch. Like four cents per hit, that also gave us... Do we have an old bandage? How do we get that red heart? Maybe it was just a champion randomly dropped it, but... Yeah, these guys have, like, multiple body segments, so I'm like, why not walk into them? And now we've, we've turned, like, half a spirit heart into, like, 12 cents there. We're already up to 42. At least it gives us something to do with our donation machine as well, if we want to do it that way. Just as sweet. That'll be another spirit heart as well. Maybe two? Ah, just the one. Okay. And we've got uh, all the consumables we need to access the rooms we would probably want to access this is good stuff i i really think that actually we've done a pretty smart thing here uh you may disagree that throwing hp away for money is a smart idea some people might call it the exact opposite of that but i'm uh, i'm a fan of it right now i think it's kind of novel at least and in here uh definitely definitely that ended up being pretty sweet. And then we'll donate as much money as they'll let us donate, basically. So we got uh, Champion Belt for the extra damage. I really like Champion Belt as a pickup. Rare, or it's rare to be able to just, like, choose, uh, pick and choose damage whenever you want like that. Good thing about Minus Touch is that because we don't have money equals power, or unlike money equals power, I should say, it really doesn't matter, like, if we, uh, 
if we run out of money or if that wanted to take all of our money then it's totally fine like we don't lose anything as a result just wanted to get rid of high priestess because i guess i value uh, the judgment card more probably a case to be made in either direction there where the heck is our item room? That was bad damage on my part. That was substantially worse, and the, it, it just continues to really get worse as time goes on. Okay, I'll tell you what. Uh, we we might want... We're definitely keeping Yera, so it's all about what we keep apart from Yera. So I, keep, I, I think we use the Judgment card, which is the other one I've stored here. And we play this guy and maybe try to snag some HP. I think we also probably just get rid of the Death card. Because it's superseded by the Sun card. Gave us a compass. It's a great pickup. Uh, moon card. It's not a huge deal. Two of Hearts is meaningless. Hermit is relatively meaningless. So I think we honestly go Yara, Sun. And we use the Sun as a compass, basically, in the future. Uh, this is a, a really good setup of, of cards to have as we're moving forward. I would like to have a little bit more HP to maybe make the Sun more worthwhile. But it's all good. Uh, red chest or secret room? I think we go with the devil you know more than the devil you don't. That gave us a battery. I was incorrect. <laughs> that red chest, even if it was worse, would be better. Although I, I could use Book of Belial on this room and then you immediately go pick up the battery, but something in my constitutional makeup says, no, don't do that. All right, well, we can still get that. And this one gave us two more cards. We'll check those out as we leave. It's another judgment we can definitely afford. I'll try it. I don't know what we got out of that, honestly. But at least we know we're not going to get it from this upcoming boss. HP. I do want HP so we can trade it easily uh, to the deal with the devil. There we go. Surprisingly easy to get out. Stars card. Devil card. Devil card's pretty good, but not as good as the sun. Let's go check out this one. We're only two guppy items away. Devil. Strength. Well, actually, we can be a little smart here and come down here and go, all right, well, first off, thank you for that. Then we pop the strength card and we just go hard on this guy. We didn't gain, oh, I forgot we had Horror Babylon. Okay, well, this puts us back in the Horror Babylon state. So it turns out that I was being an idiot and we really should not have uh, taken that HP, but we'll be able to trade it away, hopefully, in the future here. Yeah, that was dumb. <laughs> not always a, uh, a clever man, but I am as God made me, sir. Get out of here. Um, okay, mom fight. Mom fight! <laughs> I, I don't know if that was what we do in the shadows or mock trial with Jay Reinhold from Arrested Development, but either way, we're moving on here. It's been a half hour on a Judas run. It's time to get this road on the show, you know what I mean? Like, let's get the heck out of here, Vern, and uh, we should be able to kill mom very easily. Wait for the foot to come down, and uh, this is where Sacrificial Dagger and Ball of Bandages really, like, are worth their weight in, in in gold here. I was gonna say worth their weight in stone, but not, you know, stone is pretty expensive, but it is not as expensive as gold. Okay, uh, honestly, it's pretty fudged up, but we're gonna take Brother Bobby because we already have Book of Belial. But if we had gotten this earlier, we might have taken um, Tammy's head and then Goat Head, or Goat Head then Tammy's head, and then we'd be in a different position, which would probably be slightly better, but it's okay. All right, our boss fight is down there, so I'm going to assume that we go this way in order to make this happen. I'd rather wait to use the sun card until it's a little bit later in the run. I'd rather use it on the cathedral, for example. Oh, that was bad. Um, I, I don't think we're in, like, even close to a dangerous spot. Because not only do we have pretty good HP left over, but we also have... Uh, might as well. We also have the Ankh, so we'll, we'll respawn with, like, three... I think it's three spirit hearts. Please. Uh, and, and that's actually a pretty serviceable amount, especially considering we have Dark Bum and uh, uh, the left hand. So if we can just... I mean, I guess basically what I'm saying is I'm not freaking out about this one. Like, I feel like we're relatively set here. Finally, Humbling Bundle is paying out with these keys that I need to succeed. And I can drop the left hand, you know, at some point coming up here. Hoping for... I literally kited that around being like, what do you think the odds are that that's a crawl space? I... I Quickly went uh, through the numbers in my head. I said, oh, you know, I'll carry the one. A uh, uh, fucking zero, basically, is what I came to as a result of that. Um, we could use Book of Bilal here, but it, it's not super relevant. I'd rather save it for a room in which it's uh, strictly ne necessary. Like, it wouldn't have helped us in that room. Only not dodging like an idiot would have helped us in that room. But we got two spirit arts out of it anyway. 
So the Emperor card, as far as I'm concerned, does beat the Sun card this late in the game. But the Sun card has an invaluable uh, purpose right there. Basically killing a whole room for us. You got a Spirit Heart? Yeah, you do. All right. Let's see who our boss is. Dead. Uh, this is good. Second orbital. Now that we have permanent Polaroid invincibility, uh, because of the Polaroid, not because we've augmented our HP, really. Um, but one, now that we have uh, permanent Polaroid invincibility, we can really use Midas Touch after we take damage. And I gotta remember to do that, because that damage is super non-negligible. This is probably Krampus. Not Krampus. Definitely we're taking the ability to fly. So that is our last uh, deal with the devil that we can bank on. But that's completely okay. Uh, I don't really want to do that double key room, to be honest with you. I think we go down here. I'm going down, down, baby. Something in a Range Rover. Don't know the rest of the words to this Nelly song. Except that, that part where he goes shimmy, shimmy, cocoa puff, of course. And the Oscar goes to Nelly for shimmy, shimmy, cocoa puff. Why not, right? That's a good, it's a great reason why not. You've demonstrated that fully. Thank you. We had a great moment uh, at karaoke when I was in Korea. Someone puts on uh, Country Grammar by Nelly. For those of you who don't know, Country Grammar is a song, if you've only heard it on the radio, you've probably heard a radio edited version. I know that this was uh, the version that I had heard in the past. Oh, that's what we need. Um, there's a lot of what, uh, depending on who says it, could probably be considered racial slurs. So it ended up making uh, a, a basically a karaoke experience that was like people kind of like half-heartedly doing the chorus, and then when the verses came on, being like, "I'm not saying that," and that's pretty much it. I wouldn't recommend it at karaoke. I guess is what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to, you know, create a, an awkward situation or anything. I'm just saying, you know, if you want to avoid an awkward situation. That might be one way to do so, is not play country grammar. So, unfortunately, our Joker card is not really useful for us here. In a weird way, also unfortunately, our Joker card is way too useful to leave behind. So I have to say no to the Emperor card, which means I should have used it at some point in the past, and it would have been better, but um, the, the Joker card and its possibility to make us guppy is, uh, is way too good. To pass up, and even if it doesn't make us guppy, you know, the, the possibility to just give us high damage, it's, it's extremely useful. So we end up, uh, you know, in this weird situation where, you know, water, water everywhere, not a dr drop to drink, right? Like, we're constantly having all these things that uh, we uh, can get value from, but I'm like, save it for when it's useful, and then, uh, never mind, we can get rid of it. Ah, uh, we should still keep it. We are guppy now, though. Um, Still better to have the Joker card than the Emperor, probably, considering we already have the compass. But anyway, now I don't even need to finish the conversational thread that I was on because we have become Guppy and made it completely null. So, let's do this. We still got our Yara rune as well. We got 13 keys. Uh, at this point, probably we should drop the left hand because we got enough keys to... Uh, maybe we'll use the left hand on uh, the Cathedral. And we'll drop it after that point. Because... Uh, you know, we could use the Spirit Hearts, especially if we do end up trading away some of our hearts right here. I have like five Spirit Hearts, so we definitely don't want to take that deal. Let's make our way over here. Oh, you could... Uh, give me like a regular map. I really don't want your HP, unfortunately. Alright, well, you know, can't always get what you want, I suppose. Let's drop a bomb here. We do only have two, but I do want to access the secret room. Black Lotus. No, six bombs. Well, I mean, it was worth the one bomb required to get in there, I would suggest. So we're looking for spirit hearts. We we are going to win this run. Please be a joker. Rules card. Oh, Chubb just likes smoke card. Fantastic. Um, oh, the sun is pretty good, though. Um, we're going to win this run, but I would really prefer to win it without having to use... Uh, the Ankh, because that just puts us in a situation where, you know, well, we're going to win, but maybe we won't. I know that sounds uh, ridiculous, but I, I think maybe you know what I mean. It's like, you know, it's like when you write a, you write a final exam for something, and you walk out of the final exam or the test, and you're like, I killed it. I fucking destroyed that. That's like an A for sure. Might even be an A+. plus. Like, I know I did really well. I knew the material, hands down. Um, but then, like, you get a week later, and you kind of forgotten the, the stimulus after the test. 
and you're like, well, I know I got an A, but what if accidentally, like, I forgot to put my name on the page and then I get a zero? Like, that, you're, then you're like, well, I don't know, maybe this is just me and people like me. But then I'm like, well, okay, 50% chance I got an A, 50% chance I got a literal zero. Day before the test results come back, 89% chance I got a literal zero. Then he comes back, you get an A, and you're like, oh, sweet, okay. You psych yourself out, right? That's what I'm trying to avoid here on this run, is let's not psych ourselves out. We, we don't let ourselves get psyched out if we get into a position where we just, you know, have uh, Let's drop left hand. If we're just in a position where we don't have to use the Ankh, I think. So we want Sun. We want Yera. I don't really care about Counterfeit Penny. So let's just get through this. And really, we should be out of here um, with tons of time left. And... Oh, that's permanent Polaroid invincibility right there, combined with Midas Touch just working its magic. I still, I, at this point, I would get rid of Book of Belial for, like, Book of Shadows. Book of Shadows would be so good for us. We could still get Unicorn Stump. It's unlikely, but it can happen. Let's not forget to use the Yarrow Rune. No curse is what I like to see. Don't curse! Okay. Triple Shot's good. Great, even. Miter's great. Uh, little chubby, it's fine. It's not, I wouldn't necessarily say it's amazing, but what is amazing is four passive items from that set. Mom's pad, Dead Sea Scrolls, uh, Skinny Odd Mushroom I'll take. Uh, honestly, I don't really want Bum Friends. Actually, I should because I have uh, Midas Touch. So, fair enough, you got me. All right, pop the Sun card. Let's see where the heck we're going here. Again, should be a very, very easy win. We'll find out sooner or later if that's true. The fact that we know what direction to go in is going to make it uh, a lot simpler for sure. Oh, that was not very good. But now, this is our time to shine. Where's my money? I don't have five fucking minutes, Denny. Where's my money? Okay, we got Book of Belial back. Mega Fatty died very quickly, and I'm an idiot, but we're going to get some money there. I don't want the money. I want Bum Friend to take the money. He beat me. Straight up. Give this man his money. That's not my racist, like, Eastern European accent. That's John Malkovich's, so don't get on my ass about it. Don't get on John Malkovich's ass about it either. He's like 65 goddamn years old. He's got better things to deal with, okay? Rounders came out like 22 years ago. This would be cool here. Devil card. Good. And actually, Curved Horn, of course. Like, I didn't mention it, but Curved Horn's pretty good. It's the best trinket in the game, probably. One of the most hardened, hittest trinkets in the game. Okay. We got, uh, we're here, basically. We're done. We'll open it. I don't really want lard. Even though it would let us stay in Polaroid Invincibility and our Horror Babylon states. Why bother, right? Like, we're set. That also does not help. Alright, Book of Belial. Devil card. And, uh, oh, there we go. If we get hit, it's all good, because we'll just walk in there and, you know do amazing contact damage. Great run. I had a good time. I hope you guys did as well. That was a fun one. If you did and enjoy it, uh, click the like button. It helps out a great deal. And of course, subscribe if you want to see more in the future. For now, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.